Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you to talk about a two game slate in the LPL in China. Um, finally, um, they will be playing the rest of the LPL playoff games here uh, starting tomorrow and on the 13th. Um, as you guys may have heard, um, China is going through a lot of uh, COVID cases again. Um, I don't know if it's another variant or not, but Apparently in Shanghai, um, especially there, there has been a big surge in cases. Um, so hopefully, you know, things get better over there and things don't come over here to the United States. But um, for now, um, this is important to know that uh, the, the games, the rest of the games will be play, played um, online, not in person. So that, you know, adds an element to my analysis. I think there are some teams that play better when they're um, remote in a house, in the house that they live in, um, where they, they're able to more freely communicate um, instead of playing in front of, uh, you know, the public and the audience. So I think that's, that adds another element to the analysis. But, you know, given all of that, um, let's, I'm just excited that we're going to have a two game slate, even though it's going to be over the span of two days. Um, so like today it's going to be top esports versus victory five. And then tomorrow or the next day, it's going to be JDG JD gaming versus Royal never give up and RNG. So let's look at the odds real quick. Um, I do want to see, I mean, I presume that victory five is going to be the favorite and then RNG is going to be the favorite but not by much. So victory five is a favorite, like I said, at minus 157 over top esports. And then RNG is a favorite as mentioned at minus 130. But obviously, as you see in the odds, um, the, uh, you know, these games are going to be pretty close in my opinion. Um, both, both all of these four teams have been playing well, um, except for maybe RNG, but um, JDG has been real hot. Top Esports has been real hot. But I think with the break between, let's see, March 30th. So it's been almost two weeks. Um, I actually would have taken Top Esports in, the, in this game um, if they played like according to the regular schedule. But now that there has been two, two weeks, I mean, that gave Victory 5 a lot of time to prepare and um you know run scrims against other teams like top esports um so i i think that's gonna help victory five a lot more than um you know that it helps uh top esports i think top esports probably would have rather you know play three series in a row um, while they were hot and while they were playing really well so i do think that favors victory five but um we'll dive into the actual matchup here right here so the the starters for top esports versus victory five uh, they're all the same wayward and Keon are starting in the top and jungle position for top esports and then um for victory five it's been the same five for a long time so victory five has been the best team um in terms of the records um in the lpl um, and in terms of uh, hot streak, like I said, top esports has been really good um, the last, you know, three, four weeks now, I guess. So, but in the top lane, it's going to be Rich versus Wayward. I'm not that impressed with Wayward. Um, so I'm going to have to go with Rich. Rich has been really solid this whole split. And then Carsa versus Tian. I know Tian has been playing well um, the last couple of weeks, like the last two, two series uh, uh, for the last two series. But like I said, with the game plan and a lot of time off, I think it's actually going to hurt Tian a bit. I think he's the kind of guy who, you know, rides a hot streak and rides the cold streak too. He's been uh, inconsistent throughout the split. Um, and I think his cold streak is going to start because he's been off so long. And I think um, it only helps Carsa to prepare for what Tian does. So I'm going to have to go with victory five in the top even half of the map. I mean, I think Rookie and Knight are both really good. I mean, both are obviously like really superb players in the mid lane. Um, so I think that's more of a wash. And then in the bottom lane, like you know of Jackie Jackie Love because of, of his play aggressive play style. But 
Votic actually has been really, really good. And PP got it. I, I do want to see the top three teams. Um, in the LPL, I do want to show you they have it up here somewhere. As to who has made the first team and second team and third team for the LPL after the uh, maybe I can't find it. Maybe it was a, too long ago. And see, this is the problem when <laughs> the league has been off for a while because of the COVID cases. It's hard to find things here. As you see, they postponed it. I'll go a few, few more minutes. I mean, a few more posts and then see if I can find it. Okay, there it is. All pro teams. Here, as you can see, this is the first team. And like I said, Rich has been really good. So he, they made the first team, Rookie and Fotek. So you, Fotek has been playing really well. Um, I mean, you see his KDA and damage per minute. Uh, I mean, that's that's really good. And then the second team, Carsa made it. Wow. He's been better than I even expected. And then Crisp. Wow. I liked this is the third team. Wayward made it. Okay. So Wayward must have played played, played pretty well, but not as good as Rich. Um, so, yeah, I mean, MVP has been rookie, it says, and Wayward was the rookie of the split. So that's interesting, actually. Wayward has been that playing that well. Um, but still, Rich goes there, rookie. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think Victory 5 is going to win. Um, Victory 5 is has been the more consistent team, like I said. Um, top esports rides the hot streak, just like Tian does. Um, but I think given those two weeks off, I think it's only going to help uh, Victory 5, in my opinion. So I think I'm going to go Victory 5 beats TES 3 to 1. I think there will be a few games where V5 may struggle, um, maybe in the bottom lane when Jackie Love makes a good play, um, aggressive play, and then it favors them in snowballs after that. I have seen that many times for top esports, but I, I just think in the top half of the map, it's going to ha heavily favor Victory 5, I think. Um, I think Tian and Knight can carry, but Karsa and Rookie will not let that happen. I mean, so far in the split, I have never seen another jungle mid-synergy duo uh, beat um, Carson and Rookie handedly. I think Carson and Rookie is probably the best duo in, that, in those positions, uh, respectively, um, against any team in the league, in the LPL. So I, I just feel like Victory 5 has a lot of, lot more winning paths than Top Esports does. And the second matchup is JDG versus RNG. Yeah, this is a tricky one because JDG has beat uh, Weibo Gaming which I did not expect that to happen, but JDG has been pretty good. Um, I actually want to see one thing, how they fared um, in their previous head-to-head. -head. Um, I do want to see Victory 5, Top Esports first, and I want to see here, JDG, RNG. All right, so V5, just to put a you know final touch on it, on this matchup, I think Victory 5 is going to win. But I do want to see how they did between two teams head to head. Victory five won the lost the first game and the won the last two games in the best of three. You see here in game three. Knight versus Rookie. Rookie has, he played Oriana and outplayed them. 6-0 and 9. And Xiaoping started. So, yeah, I mean, I like Xiaoping better than Tian too. So, I think that is interesting. Okay, let's look at JDG and RNG, like I said. So, JDG, RNG, last time they played against each other was back in January, which was eh, over three months ago, close to three months ago. The RNG1, JDG1, RNG1. So <clears throat> as you see, like this is interesting because 
this is kind of what I su- suspected. I was going to say that if, if you think JDG wins, I would love to make them a long stack um, because when they win or yeah, when they win, they average a lot more kills um, than any other opponent. But if you think RNG wins, they are more likely to finish f- with fewer kills. So I think shorter stack, you know, is considered, uh, should be more considered um, than a long stack for RNG. But JDG, I would definitely uh, use them as a long stack. Um, they always have a potential to finish in a bloody matchup um, because uh, they, they, they love to fight. So I do want to see here game three, game one, let's see how Gao and Xiao who been. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's just go into each matchup. Uh, we don't have confirmed starters yet because that's happening on Wednesday. Um, but let's go from the top to bottom. So three, six, nine versus Ben. Ben has been playing out of his mind late in the season. So I think that was the only like question mark that RNG had, in my opinion, that was the weakest um, point um, that RNG had. And, but Ben has kind of filled that role. I know he was a big off off season acquisition, but he was struggling earlier. Like let's say the first half of the split, but in the second half half of the split, he really has been picking it up for the team, and he has shown that he can also carry a game for that team. So I would have to give an edge to Ben, and three six nine has been very very disappointing in my opinion. So I think that's a huge top gap and top difference between Ben and three six nine in favor of RNG. And then in the jungle, I think Kanavi obviously is really good. Uh, one of the best junglers in the world. And then Wei has been playing decent, um, but not as good as Kanavi, right? Um, but here, as you can see in the last head-to-head, I mean, it looks like Wei played pretty well. But I still have to give an edge to Kanavi. And then in the mid lane, it's Yagao versus uh, Xiaohu. Xiaohu has been really good. Simple and <laughs> simple as that. Um, I do want to see. Do they have it here somewhere? Yeah. I do want to see one more thing. Should be around here. Sorry, guys. I do want to go go back and see the three top three teams. Yeah. Yeah, JDG, you see Kanavi here. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. MVP count 10 times. Same for rookie. But Ming has been playing well. Xiaohu in second team. missing third team yeah i mean i think it's gonna be a closer matchup um i would definitely play both teams i think i might take a stance that victory five is gonna be top esports and then maybe play both jdg and rng but i mean i think top esports may be the biggest underdog let's see yeah so top esports will be on their own um you know for what it's worth on a two games late um but um still i, I think victory five is gonna win that matchup and i think um, i'm gonna play both jdg and rng because i don't really have a strong lean even though i just feel like um ben over 369 kanavi over way shahu over yagao and then in the bottom lane gala ming versus lpc so hope for lpc Hope, right? Let me see. Yeah, Hope. Why did LPC start that game? So you see here, JDG, 17 kills. Weibo Gaming, a lot of kills. Yeah, I mean, I think the JD, whatever JD Gaming... I think that's going to be a bloody matchup either way. Victory five tends to play a little bit slower on the slower side. 
Um, so I can definitely see the JDG versus RNG matchup being more bloody. Um, so I would definitely make a long stack with JDG and then maybe a long stack for RNG if you think that bloody that game will be bloody overall and then have a long, shorter stack from the other game. But yeah, obviously on a two-game slate, you want to be different. Um, just, you know, differentiate your lineup from everybody else's. Um, but in the bottom lane, yeah, I mean, I think that's another thing. Hope missing versus... I think hope hope missing has been really good. I think that's more of a wash too. So I, like I said, I think it's more of a toss up. I think JDG can definitely pull it off. Um, and the fact that RNG has been off for a while, I think it's only going to hurt them because RNG, in my opinion, plays much better in person, like, you know, in the studio. So I just feel like JDG. Yeah. Kanabi way in three, six, nine. That, that gap is so big. I think Ben has been playing really well over 369 and Kanavi over Way. So even there. Is Chahu where to go? The bottom lane? Yeah, I mean, I think Weibo Gaming, the Shy, one thing. They have a strong top laner, strong. Bottom lane, but they beat them. I think RNG is gonna win. I think I think that top gap will be a huge difference in my opinion. Just like you saw in the LEC best of five series uh, with Broken Blade. I think RNG will do the exact same thing to JDG. And then in the mid lane, I, I prefer Xiaohu definitely over Yagao. And I just feel like Kanavi's uh, dominance over Wei um, is not that as big as uh, of a gap between the top laners and the mid laners, in my opinion. And the bottom lane should be a wash. So I'm, I think I'm going to go... Um, um, Victory 5 and RNG probably for optimal and then victory five jdg for gpp but jdg is the long as the long stack and then i can definitely see i mean making rng long stack to be different i think most people will go victory five long stack um but you know i think that game victory five top esports has, has the potential to be lower in kills in my opinion so Anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I Let's say I'm just going to finish the notes here. Um, I think RNG beats JDG 3-2. to two. I think the top and mid gaps in favor of RNG are much bigger than the jungle gap. Kanavi uh, way been over 369 and then Xiao Hu over Yagao. Bottom lane is a wash. Hope missing have been playing very well though for JG. Toss up at the end of the day will have exposure to both teams. Top half of the map, 4v5 dominant over TS. TS2 inconsistent over the span of best of five series. And the fact that they had two weeks off without competitive play will hurt them more than it helps them be five more time and practice to prepare for TS rookie. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to have both teams. Um, I think JDG makes a very good play too. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or want to chat league, let me know. 
I'll be on um, Discord, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, you can reach out to me at DFS Chan. If you like the video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to watch videos about other sports. Thanks, everybody. Good luck, everybody.